Brooklyn in the house. Listen, Brooklyn. if you are, uh, you know, Kings County, it used to be a punchline how many years ago, right? Brooklyn. Like it's, yesterday. It is the hottest, hottest, forget about hottest borough. I think the hottest area of any, forget about the gentrification here, and it's not just Williamsburg, all over Brooklyn, it is, I mean, try and rent a place there nowadays. How expensive is it? Some of the stuff in Frisk works. Would you shut <laughs> up? So <laughs> he's always got a few things. <laughs> so anyway, the point is the Nets, as we know, they're going to be playing the next year. Phenomenal new arena here. Uh, this the video from them, obviously, as they were leaving Jersey last year. But check out the new digs. you got a new stadium. Uh, you got new a uh, new ownership, including Pokerov, the multi-billionaire uh, giant from Russia. There he is. And you've also got Jay-Z as an owner here, a little star watch that he'll bring to the team here. And while everybody talks about it, I haven't seen the recruiting really working, but we may see it this year. The Nets could be a hot ticket. They just made a major trade, brought in uh, Joe Johnson. There's Jay-Z himself here. He tried to get LeBron. LeBron instead chose uh, sunny uh, uh, Florida over, um, uh, over uh, going over to Brooklyn. That said, though, they're even talking to Dwight Howard. You've covered city politics and city. Have you seen, if somebody told you 20 years ago Brooklyn would be what it is uh, now, yeah. you'd call them nuts. And Marty Markowitz deserves a little love for this, right? Yes, but, but what's this, Richard? What, what's this right now? now you God only <laughs> knows. I'm, what, I'm what is that, Dominic? I'm, I'm practicing for when they're going to let me play for the Nets. Well, but what's if, the new if, name if of the this team? Is, if this is, is what you're doing, you're not, you <laughs> won't even be allowed to stand. That, that would get you on the New Jersey Nets, not the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> you know, but to your point, let me stop kidding around. Um, a few years ago, remember, you have housing projects not very far from the new sure. stadium. And you don't, re you don't realize the magnitude of a new sports thing is happening, a new community, until you drive along Atlantic Avenue, and then all of a sudden, with, there's a big stadium there. Apparently, you know? <laughs> it's knock your socks up. The place is supposedly terrific. Now, obviously, a lot of the audiences remember the Brooklyn Dodgers, and we didn't go to Ebbets Field or anything else. That said... They'd always argued that Brooklyn could actually sustain a pro team. And there's already talks about trying to bring a hockey team there and everything else. It's, it'll be interesting to me. Listen, the Knicks have done their best here um, to, t to PO the uh, fan base. But if the Nets do well and they, if they keep Deron Williams and they actually get Dwight Howard, which is going to be tough under the cap but conceivable, I guess, do you think metropolitan area fans, Knicks fans, would say, Forget Dolan and the clowns. I'm going to go watch a real team, and I don't have to go to Jersey to do it. Of course. It's only a five-minute train ride away. And New Yorkers are going to go anyway because it's, it's the new interesting thing. And to your point, you are a 1,000% correct. No one ever thought that, and there were people that fought this. Uh, no one ever thought that Brooklyn would look like this and all the jobs and the restaurants and so on. It's just fabulous. Sports fans, especially New York sports fans, like winners. Yep. And so if they, if they wind up doing well, I think they'll attract attention. Look, I grew up in New Jersey, so I could never support the Nets moving to Brooklyn. I'm, I'm sorry, Brooklyn, but that they, for every time you take a team, there's a, a place that loses it. And if they wind up getting a hockey team, odds are it might be the Islanders. Mm -hmm. I would feel bad for the, too, for the island, too. Bad, but it's you know what? If the fans don't support a team, the fans can't cry later on. The Nets went to the finals multiple times, and they still couldn't sell out. So, uh, you know what? As much as New Jersey fans, and I feel you on this one, feel that, hey, they took our team, you didn't fill up the arena. And as a consequence here, if you own the team, you know, that you still got to think bottom line. They're, of gonna, success. they're going to sell out with Jay-Z and Beyonce sitting uh, in the front row in quite we a few games. See, I think Andrew's right. They got to win first.